Hey everyone, today's topic is that you shouldn't listen to what insecure people say about you. This is one of those things that I wish I had fully wrapped my head around at a much younger age because it's tremendously helped me in terms of both my mental health and my self-esteem. Because if there's one thing I've learned in life, it's that good people usually are going to be good, like they're going to do good and be nice to other people, be kind and respectful, that sort of thing. So you're very rarely going to have a good person try to trip you up, try to trigger you or offend you or be rude or mean to you in any fashion. Now that's not saying they'll never do so if you provoke them, it just means they're likely not going to do that for no reason whatsoever, even if they're having a bad day. So knowing that, Think about the kind of people who are going to try to trip you up, trigger you, offend you, be rude to you for no reason, that sort of thing. These are not good people, right? They're not, because that's not what good people do. So there you go. Once you can wrap your head around that, you kind of realize it's only really insecure people who act in these really uncool ways putting people down unprovoked, trying to trigger or offend people for no reason except some little power trip on their end or some little attempt to make themselves feel slightly better about themselves because otherwise their self-image is probably pretty bad or they're just so bored and have no better use of their time that they think it's a good thing to do. That's usually internet trolls because these people have, they hide behind anonymity of course. So, you know, it's a good deal, right? They wouldn't do this to you on the street if they met you in person, especially if you're like an imposing figure, because they're cowards usually. So there you go. Think about that. Wrap your head around this because, well, I wouldn't say it's like an overall truth. It's true most of the time. Usually insecure people are the ones who act in these ways. So once you can acknowledge that, it makes it so you realize, you know, why should I listen to them? Why should I listen to what insecure pe people have to say about me? I often say in some of my videos that you should be careful who you listen to and that not everybody's opinion is made equal. Because it's true, some people certainly have more value to contribute to the world. I know it sounds messed up, but it's true. Some people, their opinions have more weight behind them, more value, whether it's due to their experience or them being the good, kind human beings, so you know they're actually worth listening to, whatever it may be. If someone is insecure and they use most of their time trying to bring others down, do they have anything to contribute to the world with their value, or their opinions, should I say? Probably not. If they're constantly trying to bring others down, they're contributing nothing. So why should you listen to them? Don't let these people bring you down. Nothing good will come of it because you're just basically enabling their crappy behavior if you allow them to get to you. And while I know it can be difficult to put this into practice, just remember, like I said earlier, good people will not treat you in this way. And really, if, if there's one thing I've learned, I guess, like I said earlier, this it sounds messed up, I know that, but life is so nuanced, it's very gray that I'm not going to be PC because it won't help me convey my points. There are people out there whose opinions matter more than others, and I've learned good people fall into that group. Their opinions usually are worthwhile. If someone isn't a good person, unless they've got like a ton of experience and research to back up what they're saying, I'm probably not going to listen to them unless they have like a really good point. If they're just trying to put me down for no reason, I'm just going to think this is an insecure person who needs to work on themselves. Why should I listen to what they have to say? And I'll basically read it and then forget it. Or if they're, I'm talking to them in person, they'll go in one ear and out the other and I'll probably make a mental note. Don't spend time around this person because they suck. So there you go. It's just... This is something I've learned. I hope it's helpful for you because it's been really helpful helpful for me to just realize that you shouldn't listen to what insecure people say or think about you, their opinions about you, because they just don't matter. They haven't put in the work to make their opinions have weight, to have value behind them. There's a big difference between constructive criticism and unconstructive criticism. And usually insecure people, they take the unconstructive route because they're just trying to bring other people down because they don't feel good about themselves. If someone is hurting inside, their only goal usually 
is to make others feel what they're feeling so they can have company. Misery loves its company, right? That's like a cliche many of us have heard. It's true. If someone's hurting, they don't want to see other people happy and having a good time because they're going to wish they were in their shoes. So it's going to trigger them. So to deal with those emotions, instead of facing them, they want to make other people feel bad. So that way they won't look at other people and get triggered by wanting to be in their shoes. So there you go. There's a lot of psychology <laughs> around all this. But basically, just keep reminding, your, reminding yourself that good people are usually the ones you should listen to. The people who don't fall into that category, they just usually don't have much of value to say if they're going to be talking about their opinion of you and that sort of thing. So yeah, there you go. That's all I wanted to talk about in this video. I probably made myself look really mean here, but oh well, like I said, I'm not going to be PC. And these are just things that I've learned in my own life and they've helped me tremendously when dealing with haters and negative Nancys like that. So hopefully they'll help you as well. But anyway, if you got anything out of this video, feel free to subscribe for more content like this. Otherwise, the easiest way you can help me out is just to throw a like and a comment on the video for the algorithm. I will see you guys in the next one. Arrivederci!